Sabbath, boys and girls. It's my opportunity once again to bring you the story this Sabbath. I have another book here. It says, To Change a Planet. Now, I want you to think about it as I'm reading the story. Okay? What we can do to change our planet. Specifically, what can we do to change the people who are in this planet? which is what Jesus wanted us to do. It says, to change a planet. Our planet, big, tough, dependable. One person, small, quiet, insignificant. But when one person and one person and one person become many, they can change a planet. Look what happened when they cut all the trees down and they have the freeways going. One molecule of carbon dioxide, small, quiet, insignificant. But when many cars, many factories, and many cities let loose millions and billions and trillions, they trap and strifle like a two-worn blanket. One notch higher than the thermometer, small, quiet, insignificant. But one notch higher can change. Look what it did to the ocean. Our seas, poor polar bears, their home is melting. Our seasons, look at all the terrible things that start to happen. Life, us. Can an acorn grow in here, boys and girls? No, right? One person seems small, quiet, and insignificant. But when one person and one person and one person become many. Look at the changes they're making. They can change a planet. Our planet seems tough, but it is fragile. Our planet seems big, but it needs us. Our planet has spun through eons of time, but this moment is the one that matters most. For our planet, our only home. Now, that is true. This is our only home right now. Now, we know we're going to go to a much better place. Meanwhile, God purifies the earth so we can come back and live in a new earth. But meanwhile, we are here, boys and girls. We can make small changes to help this earth. But it made me think, imagine if we go out and share Jesus' love to everyone. If everyone knows who God is. We will all be in heaven together. We can now enjoy the perfect earth once God cleans this earth for us so we can come back and live here and not have to worry about the carbon dioxide, about the pollution, about our oceans not being as beautiful as they are now. So I invite you, boys and girls, to share who Jesus is with your friends. And go on. And if we share with one person, they share with another person and another person. Then we become one great big family. That would be awesome.
Let's bow our heads, boys and girls. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Lord, once again for another Sabbath. Help us, dear Lord, to share what you have done for us so that others can spread the word. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.